So recently we showed some of our unreleased training footage from my time leading Task Force Alpha. Well today we have another unreleased event, this time a battle for the control of a reclaimer situated at Hurston's Savannah North Pole. And while we've seen several events from the victor's side, even landslide victories where everything goes according to plan, this event would be the opposite for our team, on the receiving end of such an onslaught. We are just landing and getting everything prepared. Over. Roger, okay. Um, team Blue is set, so as soon as you give us the go, um, we will get things moving. The plan for us on the ground was to hot drop by STV close to the objective reclaimer, as you see here. Then set up defensive positions to eliminate enemy ballista as it arrived in the AO. Our air support would hold back until the skies were clear, and our own ballista would seek out targets of opportunity flying overhead. This also occurred before the most recent season of Skunkopoly, and indeed the enemy tactics here would be a big influence in devising our doctrine for Skunkopoly fighting. We are launching. Okay, Team Red, Team Blue, we are go, 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 we are go. Good luck. Roger. Good luck. Science, we are go, we are go, operation has begun. Seven clicks out. As the reclaimer by the lake came into focus, it was time for us to drop to the ground below. Green light. Green Green light. Light. Green okay, Spear, go. Dropping. Oh, you're up again. Oh, shit. Someone blue. But we lost one of our raccoon teams in the drop. An STV had exploded. We had no choice but to push on. Pushing forward to the... the you see that hilltop in front of us there? Okay. Do we want the ridge or do we want to secure the... We want to get the ridge as well, yeah. I'm wanting to move it to the hill so we can get a better vantage point. So it appeared that we had indeed arrived first and were in the process of setting up. What we didn't know was that in the skies above, our raptors were already engaged and on the back foot. I was setting up on the right flank with Fingers and another team over on the left, which was the northern side. And it would be the northern side of the lake that the enemy would advance from. Two ballistas spotted due north of the objective. Things started out well with the team over on the left flank engaging very early. Fingers engaging. But I'd soon get a troubling call from Raptor Actual Sony USR. Hit. Good work, guys. Good work. Right, Just the below the hook is on the uh, ground ridge. I have been taken down. I will be joining you on the floor. Roger, you understood. Only one of our pilots, Scarlet Has Toast, was still in the air. We had not seen the missiles go up, but it was the enemy ballista that had done the damage, and the team over on the left flank were getting fire onto them. Hit. I'd probably say two or three kilometers north of Aerithorn's position. Roger, you understood. I was carrying a railgun, so I was swapping out with one of the left flank team to help with engaging the enemy armor. Suspect a ballista with him. Roger that. Anyone? Aerithorn eyes on tank yeah. moved behind. Uh, rock formation at my 12 mark. I will shoot in that direction. All right, possible, possible tank location uh, underneath a tree camouflage. But it was now that the enemy snipers would begin to work. Near sniper in area, I uh, got pink. Stay safe. Scanning low. Moving behind cover. Not entirely sure I'm getting shot. Sure. Possible, possible flank. I'm on the flank now, checking. Katie, check left. Checking left. Left for 11 o'clock, somewhere What is that in there. the air? Enemy. Um, hammerhead Enemy. in the air. Now, the other team had a hammerhead in the skies above, and we were kind of hoping that our rhinos could take it out as we lay in wait for the enemy armor to advance. The immediate concern was hiding from enemy snipers. Katie, I'm gonna flank to your your left. But it wasn't long before sightings of armor were made again. I see a tank and a ballista now cresting the, the bridge line. Same direction. Roger that. Direction. Same direction. Correct. Guide me onto the ballista, because the ballista is the ones we got really got to take out. Oh, I see the tank. Um, Where is it in relation to the tank? Uh, right behind. Uh, Gretel's still getting. Me. Get ready on those targets with me. Engaging tank. Okay, Roger here that. we go. Engaging tank. 
The railgun optic, or lack thereof, is really terrible for engaging at range, and the enemy snipers would take full advantage of the bright railgun tracer to locate us. Fingers getting smacked, fingers down. Shit. Aerothorn engaging ballistic. I have a head gun on my head. Looking for you now, fingers. Next to a rock, but it's hot. I was pushing back over the hills to revive fingers. It seemed to come from the left Heading. side of the tank. They're on a ridge left of the okay. tank. Move up into the trees, guys. You get more concealment in the trees. Okay, fingers. That's definite. Cool. Okay. Pushing back up. But our position had been compromised, and in hindsight, we should have moved right now. The delay would be costly. Arison's oh, got the flank covered. Hammerhead is uh, yeah. overhead. Send Z still up. Uh, oh, yeah, it took a hit. Moving. Took a hit. Oh, I'm down. Thank you. Oh, 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 I'm taking more hits. Pull him back to cover. Pull him back to cover. We don't know where they are. I've seen the ridge, but I don't have no idea where they are. We did not know the location of the snipers. We had the team over on the right flank searching, but there had been no sightings. We bound forward using cover and again making sighting of the enemy. Contact. We're two. We're two. Yep. I see. Between Grey Cat and myself, all the way out there on the flats. Roger that. I'm gonna lay down fire on that corner. Okay. If you guys can see my uh, shots. I'm watching. Okay, yeah, okay. Reynolds getting pinned. One guy. Are they in the trees up there or are they below them? No. On the other side of the trees. Arthur, are, you, are you down? Arathorn is down. Okay, I'm moving up. Arathorn's in cap. We're hearing sniper shots off to our Hello. right I'm flank. Hearing shots. Grendel and Lab Lover were over on the right. Maybe they would spot the snipers. We're kind of pinned at these rocks right now. Earthworm's pulling back. Lab Lover, you see anything over there? Cover. I do not. But as I attempted to call for air support, things would get much worse. Raptors, raccoons, message server. over. There's that hostile, yeah. hostile hammerhead coming overhead right now. Raptors are right. Do I see the hammerhead directly above us? I saw the hammerhead. I retreated back uh, 50 meters. I'm out of med pens. In cap. Our only hope was that the ballista could hit the hammerhead. Railguns would not get it done. Rhinos, raccoons, message over. We need you to eliminate that hammerhead. That hammerhead is tearing us to pieces. Oh, just got shot. Moving in now. Fingers, are you getting Katie? No, I'm at, uh, I'm at. I got her. Someone, someone got but. me. But now it was clear that we had to pull back. Fall back, we're gonna have to fall back into the trees and hopefully push back far enough that we can regroup. Someplace defensible, yeah. So we ran back until we'd broken line of sight with the lake and then began bounding back towards the right flank team, now with the Reclaimer, which was the objective after all. We had sustained casualties and lost our air support, but for now at least, we still held the objective. Arathorn can't move fast, tier 3 chest. Moving up. Arathorn set. Covering. We'd still catch sight of the advancing armor, but they were doing a good job of staying covered. But I think he's on the far side of the ridge. Oh, yeah, yeah uh, follow the ridge line, Kate, toward the sun. I'm expecting seeing real gun fire. Okay. And every time we set up for a shot, the snipers were waiting. Um, by the tree, but I'm staying Oh, I'm down for. We've got to find those snipers, guys. Rhinos to record. I believe we are under fire by railguns. Roger, we are thoroughly outmatched by the raccoons on the other team. Like, they've got snipers out there we cannot find. We are being torn to pieces. Just took a hit, so get out of there. Roger, moving. 
Back to the reclaimer, back to the reclaimer. We get a little morsels of good luck. Yep. Okay, one down. We need to get a team flanking. Keep a team back here at the reclaimer to defend it. At this point, the enemy ground advance was coming over the hill north side of the Reclaimer, basically where we'd been set up and engaging from earlier in the fight. So I wanted the team to push wide to the left and come in from the flank. The only problem was that those snipers were still active out there. Uh, Jack, moving towards your location. Yeah, just as I was about to line up on that ballista, I started taking sniper fire, so I had to retreat. And Fingers now realised that the enemy sniper was one of our best raccoons and snipers in the org, Critical Mac. I believe their sniper is Critical Mac. Yeah, it is. It is critical. It is. Looks like the hammerhead's incoming. With the hammerhead and the enemy tanks advancing, there was no time for flanking now. We'd be making our last stand. Two tanks, actually. One's buried within the trees next to the STVs. Another is on the bridge line. The tank is hunting me right now. I tried to hit it with the railgun. I can hear it. I can hear it. Get into the the landing gear. Get into the landing gear. Aerothorn in cap. Aerothorn in cap. I got you. Good shot. Yeah. One of the enemy tanks had been destroyed by railgun fire. Keep an eye on that hammerhead. Make sure it's not dropping off troops. But we didn't know where the second tank was. That tank is down, right? I don't know. I can hear the engine. Oh, taking shots. See what's taking shots. By the down. Hammerhead's back. Seeing eyes on. My vision's all fucked up, but I can hear another My tank out there. They have two tanks. I don't know where the other one is, though. I can't. I don't have a visual on it. Did one blow up? Or? One's gone. One's gone. Arathorn, I have visuals on two raccoons. They're to the right of the tank from our position. They're taking cover behind the rocks. This was the first concrete sighting of enemy raccoons. We had to capitalize. Push into flank. Keep moving, keep moving. I've got their attention. Oh. Seen, I got target. Hit, hit, hit. Ah, uh, missile hit him, I think. Pushing. Pushing. Gun suppression fire going. There is a target. There's one more behind the rocks. Push further left because I'm not far enough on the flank here. I'm pushing the tank. Someone cover me. Points out of ammo. Reloading. Eyes on. Room to cover. I'm pushing the tank now. Reloading. Pushing the tank. As well. Someone is next, next to the tank, right on the far side of the tank. He's down, he's down. Katie. Yeah. Pushing the rocks right. Jack is taking shots. But the enemy was still here. Yeah. Wait, someone is on that rock. Okay. They're tracked to beaming, yeah, they're tracked to beaming. And in all the excitement, I had not been tracking my ammo counter. Oh fuck, reloading! <laughs> Where? Oh, Where is he? Fortunately, the rest of the team were able to finish off the holdout raccoons in these rocks. So confused, the names were all over the place. I, I popped them both, though. We, I think we got them. But any celebration was short-lived. Top of the ridge. The hammerhead's back, by the way. Jack we're about to get. Right. We're about to get hit with missiles. And as we met our end, we couldn't help but see the funny side of it. Three of us down <laughs> just under this tree just chilling this had been a total loss and the rival team successfully captured the reclaimer but valuable lessons were learned during this and they would go on to shape our future strategies this is why practice in pvp is important because every engagement win or lose is a lesson and while progress can be slow and even difficult to see at times it is always occurring as always i want to thank all of you at home for watching and of course all of our amazing patrons who you can see on screen right now without these very generous people people none of the videos on the channel here would be possible so I want to thank each and every one of you for helping me to keep the channel going and in this video I'm especially thanking Sean H and Sophie Mae Patella who both recently became backers of the channel over on Patreon. Thank you both for your very generous support it is huge help and I appreciate it very very much thank you. We'll be back with more from Star Citizen very soon.